Hi, I'm Felix. I do operations and yeah, I run with the Puppet crowd. If Puppet happens to be your gem, feel free to come and ask me about Vox Populi. But I'm not going to talk about things I like today. Instead, I'm going to focus on a pet peeve of mine. So this is the next language talk. Um, because I've noticed this trend for people to ask other folks in tech about their war stories, share their war stories, and I think that's pretty weird, actually, if you think it through. For example, uh, this is what was Docker tweeted last year for sysadmin day, asking their users for war stories. Um, take special note of the meme image with the Game of Thrones reference that will come up again in a couple of seconds. But uh, to shame, um, I committed this very thing myself just last year when I uh, claimed that I had a job in the trenches of uh, system operations. And I mean, sure, uh, our jobs are stressful. We feel that we are uh, at the bottom of the food chain. And uh, it, it can be pretty rough, but come on. That, that's not our job. That, that comparison is just, it, it doesn't, doesn't really fit. So. Um, yeah, when I when I noticed this this kind of thing that kept happening, I, I wanted uh, why why is that a thing? Why why does it recur? And I don't have an answer, but I have some ideas. And one of those is, uh, I, I think that the uh, that our tech community is pretty much linked to pop culture. Uh, for example, uh, we all or most of us like uh, reaction gifs. We share them. We like them, and pretty much uh, it's assumed that everybody gets them because. Yeah, we're just, we're just people that are uh, savvy of pop culture. But if you look at pop culture and how war is often depicted and, and themed, I think that it's, it's uh, overall a thing where heroes are made. It's, it's not the, the kind of cruel, dark thing. There are movies that, that will depict war as something very brutal and and something that you don't want to experience but still these make for pretty great entertainment and we still like to watch those movies so uh that's that's all uh, a pretty bad trend uh, in, in the direction of, of treating war now in mainstream media the story is different um it can get pretty graphic which is why i didn't uh, include a depiction here i wanted my talk to be not so graphic but the the average joe has an idea about uh, war not being that that shiny uh, ground for heroes, which is which which makes war this device for uh, giving us these powerful metaphors. Um, which again, I, I see why we we like using great metaphors because yes, our jobs can be stressful for for many of us. If we don't perform, if we don't do our jobs well, then the customer loses money by the minute. So we, we yeah we get under a lot of pressure, but again. Claiming that this is like being an actual war situation is insane if you think it through. Come on. So, um, to me, th this is pretty obvious. So, uh, so you might be wondering why am I wasting five of your minutes talking to you about this thing that is pretty clear. And uh, that also, it, to me, is kind of obvious, but uh, let me spell it out. Um, we are a corner of the open source community, and the open source community uh, is not about creating great code. It's it's a social construct, and the the way that we talk to each other, the way that we uh, relate ideas and experiences, is important. It's way more important than any code quality ever. So, I feel that we want this to be an inclusive, a healthy community, and. Uh, like clinging to to our uh, well, I don't want to say obsession, but this this fixation on pop culture is not a very healthy uh, approach to that. So uh, now that I'm uh, berefting you of this um, metaphoric device, you'll have to find some alternatives. Sorry, um, me personally, I think we can just skip the pathos, skip the bullshit, just call it an anecdote, a story. But ultimately. I don't really care. Uh, call it whatever you want as long as you manage to uh, steer clear from this whole uh, war and conflict 
uh, escape because, yeah, I, I don't feel that's really necessary. And I, I really hope we're uh, all on the same page on this anyway. So here's some uh, food for real thought uh, because we, we keep referring to ourselves as tech. And uh, I kind of feel that it's falling short and it's kind of like you saying America when all you mean is the USA. So that's also weird. Um, discuss at your leisure. Thanks for listening.